but big breaking news coming in pakistan has been blacklisted by the asia pacific uh, group the apg one of the nine regional affiliates of the global financial task force fatf despite its effort pakistan could not uh, convince the 41 member plenary to upgrade it on any one parameter pakistan has to focus on avoiding the blacklist of the fatf in uh, october 2019 and the 15 month timeline ends on the 27 point action plan by the fatf geeta mohan my colleague is now joining us with more details on this geeta this is going to be a big setback for pakistan when it comes to the fatf uh, i am here hearing in october 2019 as well how should this be seen in the global context of pakistan in fact being seen as a state sponsoring terror Well Ankit this is one of the biggest news that is coming in with the kind of engagement that India has in proving uh, to the world community and this is a very important world body uh, the 10 year review of Pakistan assessment of Pakistan was underway in Canberra this was ahead of the October plenary session at the FATF uh, the Asia Pacific group is a sub group of the FATF and uh, what the FATF takes into account in October will depend on the APG group's review uh, with APG having blacklisted uh, Pakistan it seems like there is more trouble for Pakistan even in Paris uh, uh, in the plenary in October uh, where they are going to take into account their own monitoring systems their own MERs and the APG's review uh, to see whether if Pakistan can be off the grey list which is certainly not likely but will it continue to only remain on the black uh, grey list or will there be an initiation of a process to blacklist uh, Pakistan in October that would be critical this is indeed one of the biggest breaks with the indian side having a win a success in australia having uh, got the apg to blacklist pakistan no terror funding has stopped from pakistan that's cl- clear over here right. in terms of compliance of 40 parameters Pakistan stood non-compliant in 32 parameters ankit and in terms of effectiveness of the government of the 11 on t- uh, 10 counts okay. Pakistan was absolutely ineffective Geeta you know uh, I just quickly want to understand from you uh, if Pakistan is blacklisted by the FATF as well what are the kind of uh, you know sanctions what will be the implication of that on Pakistan Well, the implications are huge uh, because even coming on the FATF grey list would mean that financial institutions are going to look and think a uh, 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 way, way more uh, even before doing right. business. In terms of business houses and investments, there are going to be none going Pakistan's way. This at a time when uh, Pakistan is looking for bailouts from countries bilaterally as well as internationally from the IMF. Uh, okay. All those areas are going to look very difficult because if there is going to be no other investment from private sectors then pakistan then how would pakistan repay the debt right. of china of saudi arabia indeed of imf too thank you geeta for joining us with all those uh, details on this very big story that we are bringing here on india to